Hey everyone, here's a question from linear equation. Question is 13 subtracted from a twice of a number gives 3. So here we have to form a linear equation. Here they have given that 13 subtracted from twice of a number. So this number is unknown to us. So this unknown we're going to assume as a variable. You can take any variable. So here I'm going to take the variable x. So here you can take any variable, you can take A, B or P or Q, R, S, anything, it's completely on you. In this case, I have taken a variable to be a X. So let me write down that the variable we are taking is a X. So let's write down that, let the number be X. Now we're going to form a linear equation here. So let's read the question once again. So they have given that. 13 subtracted from twice of a number gives 3. So 13 is being subtracted here from twice of a number. Twice means 2 times a number or double of a number is called twice. So it's x is a number. So twice of a number means it will be a 2x. Okay. Or 2 into x or x plus x anything it will be 2x. Okay. So 2x is a twice of a number. Now let's frame the equation here. 13 subtracted from twice of a number. So from this 2x, 13 is subtracted and the answer is 3. It gives 3 means it is equal to 3 here. So 2x minus 13 is equal to 3. If you write down 13 minus 2x, then your answer will be completely wrong. They are subtracting 13 from 2x. So it, this should be the equation 2x minus 13 is equal to 3. Now transpose minus 13 to the other side. So minus will become plus when you do a transposing method. When you use it, signs will change. So minus will turn to plus sign. So 2x is equal to 3 plus 13. So 3 plus 13 is equal to 16. So 2x is equal to 16. Now here 2x, it's like 2 into x. So 2 is under multiplication with x. So when you transpose this 2 to the other side, uh, when you use a transpose method, 2 will be like goes to division, right? So it will be 16 upon 2. So 16 divided by 2, cancel this in two table, 2 ones are and 2 eights are 16. So 8 is equal to x. So we have assumed initially that the number which we have to find out is x. So the number is equal to x here, 8 here. So from here we can conclude the answer. The required number is 8. So that's it. I hope it's clear. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment. I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching.